It's good use of the weight room. All right, so, you know, anytime you go on the road, um, you know, play an ACC team, win 42 to nothing, a lot of good things had to happen. And, you know, <clears throat> we challenged the guys to, you know, after playing really well last week, you know, to come on the road um, and play well. And, you know, we say pack your run game, pack your defense was, you know, what we said all week to do. And, and they did that, you know, the defense, you know, shut out on the road and whatever, 14 is the first time in eight or nine years or something like that. Uh, with playing a lot of people, I think we played every person that we brought. Uh, it was really neat to see those guys make it some plays at the end. And then, you know, 62 carries for over 300 yards rushing, you know, it's kind of old Georgia Tech numbers. Fire away the questions. Lane, are you surprised at all with how quickly the defense has come together, especially with all, all the new players that you guys added? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised, but pleased, yes. Um, because those are a lot of moving parts and some people play in spots they didn't play a year ago. Some people got to be unselfish because everybody didn't get to start. You know, and that, that's one thing, you know, that I think so far guys have done a good job of portal guys that everybody, you know, wants to start and get all the stats and that's not going to happen. So they got to play their roles and um, our guys on defense have done that really well. Well, I think the two ends, the two starting ends, are playing, playing, you know, like really elite rushers, um, and then Ivy plays a lot, um, so you know that's a lot to deal with. And then we move set around a day and ran some pit games with them that give us problems on offense all the time. So we kind of, you know, we'd really saved some things through two weeks, uh, offense and defensively, and so we use some of those today, somewhere to, you know, the engineered run game where you know with the quarterback involved in it on offense and then on defense moving around the front was said. Did you expect to lean so heavy on the run coming into that? Was that the game plan or was that taken into consideration? No, that was. And I mean, it doesn't always go that way. I mean, a lot of times games end up completely different than you plan for. But that's really what we plan to do and, you know, crack safeties and get the ball in the perimeter and pull the ball with the quarterback when needed. So it's something we really hadn't done through two weeks. Uh, really good, especially going on the road against a team that stems a lot and moves a lot up front and, you know, gave Clemson problems. You know, look at Clemson's rush stats compared to today. So, you know, these guys do, you know, you better play really well. And, um, you know, this was a combination of receivers blocking the line, tight ends, and, and the backs running really well. Jackson had that interception right before halftime and comes out and leads three straight scoring drives. How important was that for him to kind of bounce back from that and kind of his performance overall? That was really important, you know. Um, he's still young, so, you know, they're going to make mistakes and, you know, want him to play great. And I was obviously really on him because that was exactly what we had talked about not doing the previous series. And um, so that was disappointing, but it was great to see him come back and, you know, as my old coaches say, take an ass chewing and, you know, regroup. So he did a really good job and played really well in the second half and, and threw the ball with, you know, really good timing. When did you make the choice to go with Jackson? And kind of, what did you see from him this week leading to that? Um, I, I don't know. We just kind of went with him, and he practiced really well. Uh, had a really good week, much better week than he had previous, and so we just did. And I think Luke would have done great if he would have went first too. Being out to that quick, fourteen nothing lead, you just like playing tonight. Just in hindsight, how big was that as far as set the tone for the rest of the game? It was huge, um, you know, to go on the road and kind of, you know, play well right away. And, and I felt our offense looked like, you know, we have when we've been really, really good on offense. You know, really fast tempo, giving people problems. You know, they weren't getting lined up. And, you know, a lot of that everybody thinks you throw the ball in the system, but you really don't. You know, you run the ball out in the system when you really have it going really fast. And that's what we were able to do today, which we've done over the years for a while now. So that was really good. Coach, I know that. First half kind of went off without a hitch. Uh, you don't count the one interception there at the end of the second. Uh, what was the message to the team? You know, up twenty-one nothing on the road. Just to really not worry about the first half, come out and, and not worry about the opponent, or you know, that the crowd wasn't going to be there, and you know, play like we had the week before. You know, we had 
it looks like we've learned from the first week because we did not do well in the second half in week one, but now they've they've done it for two weeks and you know what that makes 101 to three the last two weeks, so they're doing some things right. special teams after that first game for the last two weeks. What's kind of been, I guess, the, the biggest difference? Yeah, well, you guys know I don't, like, just take credit for anything. So that we were actually in punt safe and said just made a great play. So, <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate so yeah, I could be like every other coach. would be like, you know, we just worked on that all week, you know, and it was really just, it was all us. But no, it's a really good player making a good play. So we actually need to work on him not getting the ball when his knee's on the ground because he would have scored too. But no, special teams has played really well the last two weeks, and that's part of playing. That's the third part, you know, that we say of playing on the road. You know, run game, um, defense, and special teams. I know you've always thought highly of that, but getting to see how close these first three games, has it been anything stood out to you even more than what you saw on tape? Yeah, I like him to stop fumbling. So, you know, it's like Jackson. They both had one really bad play. When everything's going good, it's the only thing that can break momentum. You know, and put the ball on the ground or throw throw the pick. So, um, hopefully, you learn from that. And you know, other guys went in and made plays. What is the quarterback situation? Um, it's just still just kind of a you know week to week thing. I know guys are always fighting for positions, but is that still you, you view Jackson as the starter now, or does that still kind of go week to week? Yeah, I, I'm never gonna you know make a decision after without watching the film and stuff. So we'll go back and look at it and um, feel really confident now at this point that both guys can you know help us do some good things. Talk about your offense being perceived as kind of a pass heavy offense. Have you been part of a, you know, him as a coach where you have zero pass touchdowns and six rushing touchdowns? Uh, yeah, I so said this morning before the game, we played at Old Dominion FAU and actually played the same defensive end who was there like five years ago. So the portal and COVID kept him alive. So um, you could ask him, the same thing happened when we played them. Coach, throughout your career, you've worked with some great quarterbacks. Uh, what do you see in Jackson? I thought that, you know, in the second half, he made some really timing throws that were over people with really good touch. Um, and he's play, he did that during the week. He played faster in the week versus, you know, and I've said he can coach people a different ways. I'm not saying we're better than other people. We just coach our way, you know, and you got to drop, you got to play fast at quarterback, much like the NFL. And he was not, he's not been trained that way at all. So this is a learning process for him, and, and he looks a lot different. All right.